The moon is Earth's only natural satellite. It's s about 238,000 miles away from us at all times and it takes about 27 days to orbit our planet. The moon has no atmosphere to speak of, which means there's no air to breathe, no oxygen, no nitrogen, nothing. It's a vacuum out there. There's also no sound in space, so even if you scream at the top of your lungs, no one will ever hear you. The surface of the moon is covered in craters, mountains and vast plains of a frozen lava called basalt. The largest mountain on the moon is named Mons Huygens and it towers 9,000 feet above the lunar surface. That's nearly twice the height of Mount Everest. The deepest crater on the moon is named South Pole Aetherius and it's 16 miles deep. That's deeper than the Mariana Trench, which is the deepest part of our oceans here on Earth. Because the moon has no atmosphere to protect it from the sun's harmful radiation, the lunar surface gets blasted with cosmic rays, solar winds, and galactic cosmic rays. This makes the moon a very dangerous place for humans to visit. Astronauts visiting the moon must take great care to shield themselves from these deadly particles or else they could get sick from what's known as space radiation sickness. Symptoms include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, fatigue and even radiation burns. Luckily, the astronauts that visited the moon during the Apollo program all came back home safely. There are lots of theories about how the moon formed, but the most popular one is called the giant impact hypothesis. This theory says that about 4.5 billion years ago, when Earth was just a young planet, something the size of Mars smashed into it. The impact was so violent that it blasted rock and dust into space. Over time, this debris formed a thin layer around the Earth and eventually became the Moon. Scientists think the Moon was much bigger at first, but it lost mass when a bunch of asteroids started bombarding it. The Moon is Earth's only natural satellite, but it won't be forever. Scientists have spotted several asteroids that are on a collision course with the Moon. Eventually, one of them will smash into our satellite and break it apart. Then we LL have to deal with a bunch of moons instead of just the one we have now. But don't worry, NASA is already planning a mission to move an asteroid away from the moon. So even though we might not have the moon forever, at least we won't have an army of killer moons either.